Hi everyone, welcome back to the Omni Studio series. In today's session, we are going to learn about the data sources uh, for the flex card. Uh, particularly, we will cover the uh, data raptor and the integration procedure as a data source. Let's get started with the first data source on the flex card as a data raptor. So we'll create a flex card called uh, FC data raptor. as data source we'll give the author here click next uh, here uh, we haven't created data adapter so we will go with uh, none or uh, or flex card has been created so now let's go back to the data adapter and create a data adapter so basically this data adapter will fetch out all the um, account record from the system and then we will add few parameters as well as, as we go so we will create a extract data adapter here and then we will select our object as a account so i'm selecting account and then fetch out all the data in accounts and wherever id not equals to null okay then let's have few fields as a output so we will utilize one uh, which is id to the id and then name and also website so let's go and hit the preview button okay so this data adapter is working now let's go back to the old flex car and go to the setup and in the data source type let's select the data adapter here uh, select the data adapter that we have created so as we have created this data adapter um, after we create a flex car so we might need to refresh this. Um, so this is basically sometime it happens. So if you don't see uh, if your data adapter or data source that you are looking for, uh, please do refresh and uh, this should resolve the issue. Let's go back, data source as a data adapter. Now we can see that we have our data adapter name. Let's click on save and fetch. Okay. So this will give you an error right um, so there is no as a document right why this is coming error right uh, but what you can do to avoid this error that add any input map here right any random like um, we utilize this input map to pass the data to the data adapter but for now let's put something and uh, hit save and fetch again so as long as you click on the save and fetch you can see that all the data that is coming here okay let's go back and uh, add few fields here so we can see over data coming on to this and this is pretty much same that uh, we have done in the past sql um, example right uh, where we were fetching the data from the sql now instead of uh, fetching the data from the sql we are fetching the data using the data adapter that is the only change that we have here okay so let's hit the preview okay now you can see that this has loaded all the accounts okay let's go back and let's implement the uh, filter here how we can pass a parameter from flex card to data adapter so here what i will do is i will create a variable called acc name so what i'm telling here is that uh, my data raptor is expecting a value in the variable name called acc name okay so i will utilize like on the name of the account let's go back let's run this uh, so wherever we have acc name as account fetch all the accounts so we tested our data raptor this is working fine let's go back okay so here uh, we will give the variable name okay that we had here okay so whatever variable name we have created that we need to uh, utilize here okay 
and this will be your parameter that you want to pass so i will select something acc name okay and same variable you can see that it is coming now in the test parameter as well okay so now let's hit now you can see that as we have applied over filter it is only bringing the accounts where account name contains account okay so if we hit the preview we can say that this is coming based on what we have uh, passed as a test parameter or change the parameter here so as soon as i updated my test parameter i can see that this is uh, reflecting properly okay so this is pretty much a bit for the uh, data source as a data raptor in the second example we will cover integration procedure um, as a data source uh, even though we haven't uh, looked at the integration procedure how it looks but just to give you an idea that integration procedure is a uh, backend service uh, that we utilize as a uh, ex, uh, like a data layer moreover and we can do some uh, like complex calculation and i would say like it you can consider the integration procedure or ip as your back backend or apex code so let's create a flex card here we will again select the none okay and we'll go back and we will select the integration procedure and again uh, we don't need to deep dive into the integration procedure for now uh, we will cover the integration procedure in the uh, like upcoming sessions uh, but uh, i can uh, whatever i'm creating here i can give you the idea like what i'm doing so i'm creating an integration procedure here uh, fc ip as a data source i will give the same name and um, type and subtype here and then i will hit the save so I have created my one IP and uh, the data raptor that we created earlier, we will utilize the same data raptor here in the IP. Okay. And uh, I'll go back and I will copy the name here. Okay. So I looked at the, my data raptor that I created and then my data source, uh, I need to provide the data source. I need to provide the filter. Okay. So here my filter value would be um, the name of this uh, variable which we are expecting in the data raptor okay and here the variable that we will be passing through the flex card so just to differentiate a bit uh, I will name this as a IP ACC name okay so this is a first step that we have created in IP we are uh, utilizing the data raptor action here and then we are passing the parameter into a variable called acc name from a variable which we will be passing through the flex card uh, the name would be ip acc name okay and then we will utilize a response action so response action as a, you can consider a return of your apex method here okay so what we are going to do is um, whatever we are getting in this step right from uh, our data raptor we will pass that in our response okay so i'm passing accounts as a list okay and then in ip we use um, ampersand sign oh sorry percentage sign to um, uh, it, uh, like uh, bind the variables okay and then hit okay i think we have added two okay cool so let's go and let's check the ip if ip is working fine or not okay so in ip we were expecting this ip name variable as a parameter so here i will pass the same account and execute okay so now we can see that uh, as we pass this name it called the data raptor and it returned the data as account okay so let's go to the date flex card that we have created okay and go to the setup now 
and go back and to utilize the IP uh, we must have activated so I am going to activate this IP a data raptor we uh, we don't need to activate uh, but in IP we have to activate it right so again uh, I believe we won't uh, see the data source here or as we have to refresh it let's see if it is coming okay it is not coming so I'm going to refresh this window once okay so now I'm going to select integration procedure and the IP that I have created so in in general IP's name don't come here this is the type underscore subtype okay that we are getting here okay cool so click save and fetch and now you can see that uh, we are not receiving any data right uh, because we haven't passed anything uh, as a parameter okay but as you do remember that the variable name that we are expecting in IP is IP ACC name that will be passed to the ACC name to the data raptors uh, variable okay so here an in input map I'll pass account and I will hit the save and fetch okay so now we can see that we have we are getting over data here uh, but again uh, if you watch my previous video where I explained like uh, this should come directly as an array right instead of this node so what we are going to do that in the results JSON path we are we will select the account node directly okay so now you can see that we are getting the uh, data in a tabular format and to print this data uh, follow the same approach like uh, put down your ID name and website and click the preview button now you can see that um, all the accounts we are receiving are the same thing if we want to change our parameter test parameter uh, we can change uh, but uh, we haven't passed any parameter here like uh, we haven't done that uh, portion like uh, because this is the static that uh, variable that I have value that I have passed so now I created like a variable account name okay and uh, same thing that you can see here okay so I'll hit one save and fetch okay okay uh, it is asking a test data so I will provide it cool we are good here let's preview it again same result but this time uh, this is coming based on the uh, variable not from the static value okay so if uh, if I click now at test parameter again now you can see that uh, we have this variable called account name and now I can change it to Apple and once I click on it I can see that uh, the data is coming only for the account where name is the Apple okay so this is what we have as a data adapter integration procedure as a like data source for the flex cards uh, thank you so much for watching this see you in the next session